Welcome to SAU Magazine, a weekly news program coming to you from Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is the Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Jonathan Wolf. And I'm Jordan Babineau. Pre-registration concludes for the spring 2004 semester. Almost 1,800 students pre-registered down slightly from last year. Faculty used new software titled Campus Connect during pre-registration. The fall 2003 enrollment at SAU is just over 3,000 undergraduate and graduate students. The spring 2004 schedule of courses can be accessed at the SAU Internet site. SAU plans its holiday celebration. The annual celebration of lights will be held Thursday, December 4th. The Magnolia Christmas Parade begins at 4.30 p.m. The SAU Choir will begin caroling at 5.30 on the front steps of Overstreet Hall. At 5.55, the bell tower will be lit. At 6 o'clock, children can visit Santa on the main floor in the Bruce Center. Following the celebration of lights, a buffet dinner will take place in the dining hall. The fall 2003 final exam schedule is announced. Exams begin on Monday, December the 8th at 8 a.m. They conclude Thursday the 11th. Exams for evening courses take place Monday through Thursday from 6.10 to 8 p.m. All one-hour courses hold exams at the last regularly scheduled class meeting. Students with three or more exams on the same day may petition the dean of their school for a change on the date of the exam. Schedules are posted around campus. The Small Business Development Center at SAU will co-sponsor the SBA loan program. It takes place Thursday, December 11th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Chamber of Commerce boardroom in El Dorado. The seminar is intended for new business owners and potential owners. The cost of the class is $10 and includes take-home materials. Tuesday, December 9th, Introduction to QuickBooks will begin at 5.30 p.m. in the Dolph Camp Recital Hall. Participants will gain knowledge of different accounting software. The cost is $45 and includes hands-on exercises and take-home material. Students have a new email system. Webmail replaces campus pipeline. Features include a pop-up window to check for new mail and multiple private and shared address books. Images are automatically viewable in mail messages. In addition, files can be easily attached to outgoing email messages. Students had encountered difficulties with the campus pipeline system. Effective Wednesday, messages from Blackboard syllabi were transferred to webmail. SAU participates in a food drive. The 22nd Annual Spirit of Christmas food drive kicked off this week. It is sponsored by Brookshire's and the Kiwanis Club of Magnolia. The food drive provides food for needy families in Magnolia during the holiday season. Donations can be made through December 23rd. Non-perishable food items may be placed in bins at Brookshire's. Families assisted are selected accordingly to need. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Jordan Babineau. And I'm Jonathan Wolf. With an SAU profile, I'm Amanda Smith. And I'm Joanna Eaton. Jennifer Matthews is a senior English theater major. She was recently selected to direct The Marriage Counselor, written by Joey Ouellette. The Marriage Counselor will be SAU's first production of the spring 2004 semester. This will be Jennifer's second directing project. She directed a 10-minute play during the spring 2003 semester. Jennifer enjoys writing and has just completed her first play titled, There's No Recipe for This. She is president of the Emerging Writers Club, which promotes student writing. Jennifer also works in the Writing Center, located in Miguel Library. The Writing Center works to help students with term papers and other writing assignments. She is also a member of Sigma Delta, an English Honor Society. Jennifer has been on the Dean's List since her freshman year and has plans for graduate school. With an SAU profile, I'm Joanna Eaton. And I'm Amanda Smith. SAU Sports, I'm Ross Sims. And I'm Kalana Sanders. The Mule Riders lose in the NCAA Division II football playoffs. SAU was dominated by North Alabama, 48-24. The Mule Riders fell behind early and could not catch up. North Alabama overcame a halftime deficit to defeat SAU earlier this year in Magnolia. The Mule Riders ran off a six-game winning streak from that point to make the playoffs. They finished the 2003 campaign with a record of 9-3. In men's basketball, the Mule Riders break the century mark against Harris Stowe. SAU won 110 to 67 to give the Riders their fourth consecutive win. Mike Robertson hit a three-pointer to make the score 10 to 8. 
After that, SAU never lost the advantage. SAU's record is 4-1. and one. On Saturday, the Mule Riders compete against UALR in the Altel Arena. The Gulf South Conference named Shauna Laurendine its 2003 Volleyball Coach of the Year. Laurendine led the Lady Riders to a 22-12 record. She led the Lady Riders to a 16-17 record in 2001 and an 18-12 record in 2002. Outside hitter Brittany Wright was named the GSC West Division Volleyball Player of the Year. Melinda Pitcock and Brandy Patterson were selected first team all-conference to give the Lady Riders three first team selections. The Lady Riders beat Jarvis Christian College 57-50 on Wednesday in Hawkins, Texas. SAU trailed for most of the first half but led at the half 25-20. Kim Davis scored 18 points and grabbed 14 rebounds. Sharonda Davis scored 15 points. Brooke Grigsby and Christian Tester had 5 assists and 3 steals each. The Lady Riders will host Jarvis Christian on Tuesday. SAU Sports, I'm Kalana Sanders. And I'm Ross Sims. With commentary, I'm Keith Carson. With the holidays right around the corner, everyone tries to come up with the perfect gift for their loved one. But does everyone really take time to figure out what that person wants? It is a waste of money and effort if one does not take time to get that special someone a gift they would truly appreciate. How would you enjoy your holidays if someone just bought you something that you have no interest in? Some say it is the thought that counts, but if you buy a gift without knowing the person's personal interest, then you weren't thinking of them very much. It was just a gift to say, I bought you something, now be happy with it. While some people may say I want it to be a surprise, there are plenty of ways to find out what that special someone enjoys. You can ask his or her friends, ask their parents, or if all else fails, just ask them what they would like without being obvious. Nothing says I was thinking of you better than a well thought out present. With commentary, I'm Keith Carson. With an SAU police log, I'm Jennifer Hickman. During this Thanksgiving week, law enforcement officers will be out in force cracking down on seatbelt violators. Arkansas law requires every person sitting in the front seat of a vehicle to wear a seatbelt. All children under 15 years old must be secured with a seatbelt or a child safety seat, whether they are sitting in the front or back seat. Drivers can be stopped and ticketed for a seatbelt violation if any of their passengers under 15 years old are not buckled up or properly restrained. People who wear seatbelts increase their odds of surviving a serious crash by 45% and increase their odds of avoiding serious injuries by 50%. I'm Calvin McGee. The annual crime report is now posted on the SAU webpage. The crime report includes statistics for the past three calendar years. The chart shows there has been one arrest for liquor on campus and none in the residence halls in 2001, as well as one arrest for drugs on campus and one in the residence halls. Two arrests have been made on campus and two in the residence halls for illegal weapons. There have also been a number of crimes reported on campus, such as four counts of aggravated assault, one count of simple assault, five burglary cases, 36 cases of larceny, and one count of arson. Most of the numbers are down from recent years. To find the crime statistics report on the SAU webpage, click on the University Police icon. This information is provided in compliance with the Clery Act of 1990. To report campus crime, or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU police log, for Jennifer Hickman, I'm Calvin McGee. I'm Stephen Geist. And I'm Renan Williams. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. The Bray is looking for a basic news reporter. Assignments will include covering campus news stories assigned by the editor. Applicants must know Microsoft Word have completed comp 1 and 2 with the A or B. Communication or English major preferred. Applicants must be able to work Wednesday evenings. Interested persons can contact Bryce Harmon in Wilson 123. Upward Bound is looking for drivers and tutors for this program. Drivers must be 21 and have a valid driver's license. Tutors must be at least of sophomore classification. They must have a 2.8 cumulative GPA and must also have made an A or B in the subject. Contact Quinn Owens at 235-4996. 
He is located in Wilson, 119. I'm Stephen Geist. And I'm Brandon Williams. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Brian Jones. And I'm Charles Davis. Ronald Radford will be playing the flamenco guitar this Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. at First United Methodist Church in Magnolia. Radford is an American master of the flamenco art form. It is native to southern Spain and will appeal to all ages and musical tastes. Radford's concerts have been all across the nation and 15 countries. The concert is sponsored by Magnolia Arts. The SAU Performing Arts Series will present members of the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra in concert next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. It will take place at the First Presbyterian Church at 1417 North Jackson Street in Magnolia. The program will consist of works by Bach, Lennox Berkeley, and Mendelssohn. The concert will be open to the public. The theater department puts on its second play of the year, Come Back to the Five and Dime Jimmy Dean Jimmy Dean. It will be in Harton Theater Tuesday through Thursday evenings at 7.30. The play is centered around the 20th reunion of Jimmy Dean's followers. Stacy Bean is serving as guest director for the play. The cost is $2 for SAU students and faculty and $4 for general admission. The Continuing Education Department at Southern Arkansas University will offer a piano class for hopelessly busy people. The class will be held from 6 to 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Participants can learn how to play their favorite songs. The cost of the class is $49 plus $25 for music materials. For more information about this class, contact the Department of Continuing Education at 235-4005. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism degree program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Matthew Johnson. On Monday, December 1st, SGA Traffic Appeals Court meets at 4 p.m. There will be an IGC meeting at 5.30 p.m. The lighting of the Greek letters will be that evening. On Tuesday, Student Activities Board meeting at 5.30 p.m. The Theater Department begins their second performance of the year with Come Back to the Five and Dime Jimmy Dean Jimmy Dean at 7.30 p.m. in Hart and Theater. Wednesday, enter Fraternity Council meeting at 5.30 p.m. There's an SGA meeting at 6.30 p.m. Thursday at 5.30 p.m., a Penn-Hellenic Council meeting. The final production of Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean will be at 7.30 p.m. The Lady Riders basketball team will travel to Arkansas Baptist University. Friday, the Agriculture Department is having their Christmas formal. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.